Lorenzo Bonicelli of Italy, second best in qualification. The top three were all scorers last of the season. And a last chance for these gymnasts to leave 2024 with World Cup honours. Lorenzo Bonicelli. The Italian will start this weekend of finals action. The clock has ticked around to the beginning of this last weekend of World Cup finals. Though back in the day in Sombatega probably would have used a sundial, so old is this lovely settlement. A decent first pass from the 21-year-old. That's nice. Good form in the twisting tuck position. Having moved smoothly through, well I'd say that smoothly through for the most part into handstand, with just a little hesitation. aggressive delivery of the flares a little flourish coming out of them could hit height throughout nice from Lorenzo Bonicelli. It would be interesting to look at the execution which was 8.4 in qualification because he's giving away a few tenths of difficulty compared to Mezarosh and this is the athlete who was the second best in qualifying behind Mezarosh. He's from the north of Italy, Lecco, a city of 50,000 near Milan, very famous for its alpine sports undergraduate at the Universitas Mercatorum, the University of the Italian Chambers of Commerce. Yeah. The World University Games. Last year, he's had two. He's got a few little landing adjustments here and there that he gives away. On the whole, his form in the air is very nice. He's quite a fluid gymnast to watch. Bonicelli. Over to Lorenzo Bonicelli, who scores 13.333, and his execution is down quite a bit from Lorenzo Bonicelli. He does have a point three penalty rather than the point one that he incurred for going out of bounds.